the talk tries to just be kick off. Uh, the talk was it's a toe injury. Um, I'm not sure how uh, how serious it was. Obviously, he tried to. He came out for the warm up. Tried to tried to run on it and, and gave. It's an early chance. Early chance there for Middlesbrough. Yeah. See where they can where they can get with that position. Middlesbrough lining up more as a a, a three a three four three similar to uh, to Brentford. Odebajo plays the ball into the inside left channel. Malpai's in behind. He might be able to get away from him here, and he's got him behind. And he probably should have scored there. Neil Malpai, the ball over the top from Makocho. Malpai got goal side of Ryan shot, and Dave, I can't help but thinking once he got there, he probably should have scored. He really should have done. I mean, one on one with the goalkeeper, he lobbed the goalkeeper, but as he lobbed the goalkeeper, he pulled it to the goalkeeper's right and. Probably a yard and a half, two yards past the post. Yeah. Still with uh, Halson though. Halson plays into the centre of the field looking for Besic. Besic looking for room to dribble and shoot. And he does. It's dropped by Bentley and tapped in by Fletcher. And Middlesbrough are ahead inside five minutes. The goal scored by Ashley Fletcher. The shot came in from, from Besic. He wriggled away from Makocho. So he steps away from over Mikel, plays a 1-2 with uh, Mulpire. Now here's Ben Rama. Now into Sawyers again. We'll go for goal from the edge of the penalty area. Back to Canos. Canos with a chance to wriggle free. Canos can shoot. And that's deflected. And that hasn't gone very far over the top. Ben Rama will take it. Swing it in with his, uh, with his right foot. It's uh, low towards the near post. It's flicked all the way along there. And Dalsgaard was over there. But Ayala was with him. And Malpai's won the ball back on the edge of the penalty area and shoots. And that's blocked. Sawyers now. 20 yards out, looking for some space. He tries to go round Dale Fry. I don't think he's going to get much joy there. And, uh, but wins the challenge right by his dead ball line. Uh, and since the goal, uh, Sawyers has gone away. But now here's a summer longer. He's away onto a long ball away from Madbeck Sorensen. Sorensen gets a nudge on him. And Bentley saves. And I think that from Sorensen was at the very, very edge of what's acceptable. Rama. Ben Rama's out, uh, out muscled by two. And now Besic can win the ball back. Feeds it to Fletcher. He might have a chance to go for goal again. He does. Bentley... Uh, with safer hands this time, holds on to that one. Been uh, attacked down the right hand side. No Brentford player further right of him until Ben Rama gets there, and that's where it goes. Shot on with a chance to cross, and Malpai is going to head in but offside. from an offside position. It was offside. A really, really good cross from Ben Rama. Malpai got ahead of Shotton and headed in. It looked like he might be offside, and that's the way it's gone. We, we will get a replay here, so I'll, uh, I'll let Dave uh, let Dave talk through that one as, as it comes in. But a really, really good cross, and a really good header from uh, from Malpai. Um, no, a somber longer, of course. Fletcher, who's uh, the goal scorer, they've got a couple of men lurking on the edge of the box. A shot and throws it in, headed away by Barbe at the near post. Shot him with a chance to deliver with his right foot. Flicked in and a touch off Ayala, and I think it might have come off Dow's guard in the end. And it's just them. Um, we're not, just not doing that at the moment. A somber longer miscontrols, and then with not a very, very clever challenge there on Makocho. Sombolonga will um, surely get a will surely get a yellow card here from the referee and, and does so. Canos. And I think Canos told to get at Savile. Can he deliver anything? He can deliver looking for Malpai. Never really going to win that against Shotton, but Ben Rama has it on the edge of the box. He can go for goal with his left foot. It was uh, on target, but up. never now his Sawyers who's seeing a lot of the play for Brentford. Now into Malpai. Malpai with a touch of Canos and Malpai is offside. Brentford worked that again very, very cleverly. It would have been away, but no, they're so well drilled. They were in an absolute perfect line. Wing with a shot for uh, Middlesbrough from the uh, from 25 yards or so, which Bentley goes down to his left to save. Or now into uh, Ben Rama. Ben Rama just the other side of the centre circle. He's got a chance to move with it. Wesley run from Malpai. That's where it goes. Uh, charged there by Savile. Canos will score, but again a foul against um, against Malpai this time. So that's the second time Brentford have had the ball in the net, and uh, the second time that uh, it's been ruled out. And again, you can't really. Uh, can't really disagree with that. No. Sawyer's in the centre circle. Exchange with Malpai. Now into Canos. Mal Sawyer's again. That's to Canos again. Where's the, where's the extra ball? The extra ball is to the wide right. To Dow's got his hit. Canos shoots and Hit's smacks the, the shot against the crossbar. That was really good play from Brentford. Breaking through. One, twos. Beating the line. Canos with the shot. Beat Randolph all end up. But Cannon off the crossbar. Yeah, I was hoping Randolph was going to get near that and give away a corner. But I think, I think the referee got it right. I don't think he got near enough to it. Uh, Obi Mikel and then uh, it's worked to the wide right to wing. Wing with a chance to deliver across. It's a really good one. Sorensen can't clear. Barbe takes control. You sort of, you sense that might be where we where we where we'll end up with uh, Brentford playing a lot of football but unable to do anything. But well won by Henrik Dalsgaard. And as Henrik Dalsgaard wins Bowl, the ball, which, uh, as uh, could have gone either way, and Canos has hit the crossbar. Middlesbrough have also had chances, but probably fewer. There was. Delivered by Wing. Bentley's coming, gets some sort of punch on it. Only falls for Fletcher. Fletcher can lob it back in. There's bodies all over the place. And eventually... He almost drops it to Dan's hands, The it? ball, as Dave says, drops into Bentley's hands. And he's um, suggesting that he's hurt his shoulder. And uh, might uh, need a bit of attention. The, uh, the, uh, oh, he 
that little flick Inches there would have had Malpai through. And there's a good ball from Sawyers into Delscott. Delscott cuts it back to Carlos. Who, what a shot and what a, what a save, save that is. That is a really, really fine save from Randolph. Delscott with the cut back. Sawyers, um, sorry, Carlos shot. Looked all the world as if it was going to beat the Middlesbrough goalkeeper. And he's got a hand to it. That looked for all the world like it was an equaliser. Position here, but otherwise it's been a, a very positive start. Building on what we've uh, done at the end of the first half. A ball to the far post. Fletcher's in and he will head down and he will... I thought that was in from behind, from behind where we, from the view where we got here. As Fletcher went to head that, in it, and I think what the what, uh, so Inyaki, the goalkeeper coach over there, and just sort of saying, what sort of movement is he going to have? Patrick Gunnison is getting stripped and ready. He <laughs> looks like he looks like a man who might be about to come on for a uh, for a debut here, which will be uh, interesting. Arms. Savile chips the ball to the far post, looking for uh, the header, which comes in from uh, Daniel Ayala. It wasn't far over the bar, but it was always over the bar. See, now Ben Rama's got um, Odebajo outside him. That's where it goes. Odebajo with a chance to take on the uh, shot and gets away from him. Can he deliver across? He can do. Dowsgaard's up there at the far post, heads it back across. Canos there, challenging, headed away. Not the best header by Savile. Drops to Dowsgaard. Dowsgaard with a chance to shoot. And it's loose. He's in the net. He's in the goal net. Hello, goal by Ryan Shotton. Shotton at the far post. A terrible headed clearance by George Savile. Dowsgaard drills it in. And it's bounced into the net off Ryan Shotton. At Brentford a level, Brentford a level, a terrible clearance by Savile in the first instance. I don't think Dalsgaard's going to have any chance of claiming that. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, I mean, I, I, ironically, it was probably our least dominant spell of the game. Rama uh, has uh, been beckoned forward by Odebajo, gives it into Makocho. Now here's Sawyers again. Sawyers with a pass in third. Dalsgaard, what a great pass. Dalsgaard, chance right by the dead ball line. Where, who can he pick out? Pick out Ben Rama and Brentford are ahead. Brentford have turned it round, a brilliant pass by Sawyers, a cutback by Dalsgaard and Ben Rama slots in. Brentford have scored two goals in two and a half minutes here at the Riverside Stadium and from 1-0 down they're 2-1 up, Saeed Ben Rama on target again and from nothing Brentford are 2-1 up here at the Riverside Stadium, Dave Morley. Yeah, I mean Dalsgaard done so well there because the obvious ball was the, the, the first time ball but he didn't, he stopped, he waited. And he dragged it back onto the on-run, on-running, but on-running Ben Rama, who coolly sort of side-footed it very firmly. They brought on, uh, they brought on a left back to go to a go to a back three, and they've now changed it again by the looks of it. But Gunnison is coming on, and Bentley is on, and Patrick Gunnison is on to make his uh, make his. I'm not sure if it's a professional day, but I think he's actually played some uh, played some league games uh, before. But Gunnison is coming on. He's getting some words from Consa. And this is just about as inexperienced a, uh, a Brentford team as you'll ever likely to see. He hasn't even played many B-team games, has he, Chris? No, it's been uh, Gunnison and Anderson have played the games between them. We've got, we've probably got 20 minutes to go here. Brentford lead by two goals to one, but uh, they're now uh, got a bit of a, a challenge to Fine, face. And then uh, there might be another change coming later on. Brentford, of course. Yeah, I mean, perhaps Thomas feels that Ollie offers a little bit more in defence than Saeed does. Now for uh, Housen, fed to the right-hand side to Shotton. Shot on with Odebajo. Odebajo tries to block across, can't quite do so. Headed down by Hugo Gunnison will flick the ball over the top. That was safety first there from uh, from Patrick Gunnison. I think he probably had a bit more time than that. Yeah, he's probably done the right thing though. His first touch in senior football, play safe. Don't try and be the hero. So it's going to be a corner. And Gunnison, the one thing I'm told about Gunnison, he's got a very good mentality. I, I actually think that it probably takes him 45 and he adds 30. So I, I think right, it's okay. generally worth doing. You never quite get as much time added on. The same as in um, if you, away, you can delay clear it long and right-footed. Mads Beck Sorensen's underneath this one with Hugo. Hugo wins it. Fetcher gets a touch on. Back to Hugo. Go for goal. His right foot. Always rising. Always a bit high. I don't think Brentford will mind shots from there. First to have like great tackle by Henrik Dalsgaard to win the ball back. Now his Malpai into Watkins on the edge of the box. What can Watkins do? Watkins with a chance to perhaps shoot. It's deflected and headed away by Arla. That could have been a third goal and that would have been that. Here's Tavernia. Tavernia with the ball into the box to Mikel. Mikel looking to find some space. Mikel with a chance to shoot, really. Watkins crowd. Sawyers crowds him out. The referee has given a dive against Halson and he's booking him. And I think that that is just about spot on. It really was, yeah. I mean, you, you could say he was... He was trying to get anything he could, and it was just a real silly dive, wasn't it? Watkins will now get it back, and there's a two-on-two two here for Brentford if they can play it right. Here's Watkins trying to attack the edge of the penalty area. Can perhaps feed in Mark Ondes or perhaps shoot himself, and Watkins shots, and it looks like it's... I thought it might have taken a deflection, but it's gone over the bar, and Watkins should perhaps have done a bit better there, having wriggled into space. Got to make a challenge here. Housen picks up the loose ball. Knocked long. Sorensen can't get it. Gunnarsson's rushing out. Gunnarsson's rushing out, and Makocho took no chances. Shotton will throw it into the penalty area. Can Middlesbrough snatch a point? 
Referee's having a good look at what's going on. Shotton will throw it long. Dalsgaard gets to it. Barbe gets to it. It's headed away. Back to Shotton. Watkins across with a touch. It's delivered in. Gunnarsson gets a flap. Can't get there. Gunnarsson picks it up. Look, I'm quite sure there was some sort of foul, but it doesn't really matter. And it's finished. The full-time whistle has gone and it's scarcely believable. But Brentford have won by two goals to one. They were a goal down. They've got a goalkeeper on making his English Football League debut in goal. And they've won by two goals to one. The winner was scored by Saeed Benrahma. The Brentford players are mobbing Patrick Gunnison. And Brentford are all of a sudden six points off the playoffs with a game in hand. And oh, uh, Incredible. Incredible. When you think about when you think about Patrick Gunnison making his English debut in goal for the last 20 minutes, Julian Janvier dropping out half an hour before kickoff, Madsbeck Sorensen's league debut. You know, every, everything about it, they've been 1-0 down, but we battled and we battled and we battled.